JF-17 Thunderblock III and Dassault Rafale are designed for different roles, but since these two fighter aircrafts are high likely to fight against each other in near future, due to the fact that they are serving in the air forces of Pakistan and India. That is why we decided to compare the capabilities of these two fighter aircrafts, and see who will fare better against the other one in a hypothetical air war. The JF-17 Block III is designed to be a cost-effective single-engine lightweight 4.5-generation fighter aircraft that intends to replace the aging fleets of Mirage 5 and F-16 Fighting Falcons of the Pakistan Air Force. For JF-17 Block III, the designers have mainly focused on long-range radar, high-speed, agility, and long-range air-to-air missiles. Whereas, the Dassault Rafale is designed for high-altitude interception and low-altitude penetration operations. Its airframe is designed in a way to deflect most of the radar waves, and thus provides it with slight stealth advantage. It is also a 4.5 generation, but a twin-engine and medium-weight multi-role fighter aircraft currently serving in the Egyptian, Qatar, Indian, and French Air Force. Now let's compare their capabilities, strength, and weaknesses, to determine which aircraft will outmatch the other one in a hypothetical aerial engagement. The airframe of JF-17 Block III is mainly constructed of aluminum, titanium and high-strength steel along with semi-composite materials to reduce its radar cross-section. It has an integrated cockpit display, helmet-mounted display and uses a three-axis fly-by-wire system that allows pilot to focus more on keeping a track of its rivals. It has nine hard points and can carry a wide range of weapons. The Dassault Rafale has a delta wing airframe having small canards near the cockpit for better maneuverability. Rafale also has an integrated cockpit display, advanced avionics, helmet mounted visor, and a three axis fly by wire system. It has 14 hard points and has an empty weight of 10 tons. The JF 17 Block III operates WS 13 engine, which has a lifespan of 2,200 hours, and provide 101 kilonewton thrust with afterburners. The JF 17 Block III can fly at a speed of Mach 2, and has a weight to thrust ratio of 0.95. It can carry 3,700 kg of payload for up to 3,500 km. The Dassault Rafale is equipped with two M88 engines, each of which provides 75 kN thrust with afterburners. Rafale can fly at a maximum speed of Mach 1.2, and can carry up to 9,900 kg of payload. Its operational range is 3,700 km, and have a weight to thrust ratio of 0.98. So clearly Rafale has a clear edge over JF-17 Block III in terms of payload capacity, operational range, and weight to thrust ratio. While the JF-17 Block III is faster and more agile than Rafale, The JF-17 Block III uses KLJ-7A active electronically scanned array radar developed by the Nanjing Research Institute of Electronic Technology. It is a state-of-the-art radar that operates over 1,000 transmit and receive modules per second which makes it highly resistant to jamming. It operates 11 different modes of operations, such as BVR mode, WVR mode and ground surveillance mode. Its detection range is up to 170 km, and is capable of tracking 15 targets at a time, and can engage four of them simultaneously. The Dassault Rafale is equipped with RBE-2 radar system developed by Thales. It's also an active electronically scanned array radar, that has detection range up to 100 km. It can detect 40 targets at a time, and is capable of tracking 14, while can engage four targets simultaneously. Although both jets are operating AESA radars, but the range of Rafale's radar is comparatively smaller than that of JF-17 Block III's radar. The JF-17 Block III is a multi-role aircraft that will carry a wide range of weapons, such as beyond visual range air-to-air -air missile, anti-ship missile, cruise missile, precision-guided bombs, general-purpose bombs and nuclear bombs. In air-to-air -air armaments, the JF-17 Block III will carry PL-5, PL-10, PL-12 and PL-15 air-to-air -air missiles. The PL-5 is a short-range air-to-air missile which is guided by infrared homing system. Its operational range is between 500 meters to 18 kilometers. The JF-17 Block III will be equipped with PL-12 air-to-air -air missile for medium-range BVR operations. 
It uses active radar guidance for tracking its target, but is also equipped with passive homing mode as well, to avoid jammers and AEW aircrafts. The PL-12 effective operational range is between 70 and 100 km with pinpoint accuracy. For long-range air-to-air operations, the JF-17 Block 3 will operate PL-15 missile, that has operation range between 120 to 200 km. It uses an active radar homing guidance for tracking its targets, and can travel as fast as Mach 4. In air-to-ground armaments, the JF-17 Block 3 will operate a wide range of weapons such as Baba cruise missile, LS-6 glide bombs, laser-guided bombs, precision-guided bombs, as well as general-purpose bombs. In air-to-ground armaments, Rafale operates Scalp cruise missiles that is designed to hit high-value military installations deep inside the enemy territory. Its operational range is 200 km with deadly accuracy. Rafale also operates hammer air-to-surface missile, as well as laser-guided and precision-guided bombs along with several other types of munitions. In air-to-air -air armaments, Rafale is operating Mica short-range and Meteor-advanced medium-range air-to-air missiles. The Mica is all-weather, fire-and-forget short-range air-to-air missile. Its range is between 800 meters to 80 kilometers. It uses both active radar homing guidance and infrared homing guidance for tracking its targets. It can also change its course mid-air through inertial guidance system. For long-range air operations, Dassault Rafale operates the infamous Meteor air-to-air -air missile. The Meteor missile has operational range up to 100 kilometers. It uses active radar homing guidance for tracking its target, and can change its course mid-air through inertial guidance system. Both Mica and Meteor are very capable beyond visual range air-to-air -air missiles with deadly accuracies. However, due to the long range of PL-15 missile, JF-17 Block 3 possesses a clear edge over Rafale in air-to-air -air engagements. But in air-to-ground deep strike capabilities, Rafale has a clear advantage over JF-17 Block 3, as it has better armaments in terms of range and accuracy. Now the question is, which one is better fighter aircraft? Well it basically depends on the primary role they are assigned with. For long-range interception operations, the JF-17 Block 3 is much better than Rafale, as the range of its radar and missile is much longer. Whereas, for low-altitude penetration and deep strike capabilities, Dassault Rafale is much better than JF-17 Block 3. So if a country needs a cost-effective long-range interceptor, it will choose the JF-17 Block 3, and if one needs an aircraft with deep strike capabilities, then Dassault Rafale will be ideal choice for them. That's all on the topic for now. Make sure to subscribe our YouTube channel for more videos and updates. Take care and have a great day.